Welcome back to another edition of Audio Fiends. Today, we got Drake. Rescue me. It's a good day. It's a good day, man. See that knife? Some real shit. You want to plunge that into Kanye. <laughs> I won't let him. You won't let him? Won't we let need him. both of them, man. We need both of them. Um, So you, you'll die. You'll jump in front of the bullet for Kanye? No. <laughs> No, I was oh, so you just grab his arm. Nah, I, I probably wouldn't do it. I just I'd be watching from afar. I go, ah! I I scream, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help! <laughs> all, right, all right, before we do this producer spotlight, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Help us get to a thousand fucking subscribers, you dig? So we can get to you more videos. You feel me? And we get more. More songs, you feel me? Bro, I'm trying to go to the underground, son. I'm trying to really show y'all something. So don't forget to subscribe. We got heat for y'all. I got heat for y'all, bro. I got shit y'all never heard before, bro. But, you know, I'll be trying to do this popular shit. But not to, describe, not to disrespect Drake, because that's one of my dogs right there. Anyway, so we got BDX on the track. You know what he do, bro. If you watch any of our videos, you know what BNEX do. Shit, I ain't even got to talk about it, but I will. This nigga is the Yeats. Man, he's Yeats' go-to guy. Matt, click on that nigga name. I want to see what his number, his you know, best songs he's made for Yeats. I'm thinking about nine. I don't know what the fuck that is. He got his number one song is "Sex Talk" with Deli Bo. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, who knows? Anyways, he, he made "Flawless." He made "None I Change." He made "Talk." We <laughs> the Tonka Truck. Whatever. Uh, he made Out the Way, No More Talk, Myself, For Real. He made a bunch of shit. He made way more than that, too. Um, he made a lot. Of, he's like, he's, uh, what's it called? Yeet's go-to guy, bro. Yeet's go-to guy. Now he's going crazy. He's got a song with Pink Panthers coming out soon and shit. He's going absolutely dummy. Now, there's another nigga on this track called Sad Pony. Don't know who that is. Ah, this is 6 9 nigga. Well, at least he made one 6 9 Oh, yeah, he made one 6 9 song. He made Trolls. That's what he looked like? <laughs> Bro, that nigga up, look man. 80. That's fucked up. Put that nigga on the screen real quick, bro. That nigga look 80. <laughs> you gotta grab it, man. Damn. Why are you trying to harass him, man? I'm not, bro. That's what he look like. And you see this song he did? Damn, he did like the whole little Addy album? Oh, shit. Yo, he did Jumbo Shit Pop. Uh, Jumbo Shit. And that's a song. Yeah, that's a song right there. That's a song. You still haven't listened to that little Addy album. It's okay. We'll get to it eventually. Maybe. Anyway. You guys that out. So we got Rescue Me. There's a lot of subliminals, a lot of shots being taken in this song. I'm here for it. I'm here for the fuckery. So let's get into it. Drake, Rescue Me. You are now listening to the champion sound. Night Owl sound. The world's greatest sound. I need someone to be patient with me. Someone to get money when I take it from me. Uh, they don't even need to be as famous as me. Hey. I don't think I meet them at the places I be. But deep down, I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull with Dolly, mommy. I just want to take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind, I'm a call away, mommy. Come Ooh. Man. I didn't come this far just to come this far and not be happy. Okay, remember that. You didn't come this far just to come this far. Right. Yeah. The world's greatest I don't really know how to confess my love. Really seem like I want to test my love for you. Scary hours. <laughs> I give you the world, but there's other planets too. And I need someone to be patient with me. Someone. Okay. 
Just went through the first verse. I don't even know what that nigga was talking about. I ain't gonna lie to you, but. Well, are you saying the list is despicable? Come on, bro. You heard what he was saying? You just said you don't know what he was talking about. Hmm? You said you didn't No, I was talking about in the first verse. But in the chorus, the chorus oh, is what oh, I said yeah, was despicable. Yeah. Um, you heard the snippet. Yeah. Maybe we've been talking about the snippet. Yeah. I'll tell you the honest truth. I didn't really get it. <laughs> I mean, it's a little shoddy shot. I'm, I'm not the only one. Right, it's a little shoddy <laughs> shot. It was like, oh, you know, okay, I've been beefing with Kanye. Um, I said, um, this is where genius comes in, man. I'm he sorry. said, what? What did nigga say? He said, fuck, fuck that. I didn't do that shit for the ops. I did it for Jay Prince or whatever. Fuck the ops. Did that shit for Jay Prince. I did it for the montage. Sure, sure, sure. So he includes a snippet with Kim Kardashian talking about. Her designs to divorce Kanye, a little shoddy shot. But what she was actually saying, I was like, I don't know, it's like some regular shit. I didn't come this far just to come this far and not be happy. Remember that. You didn't come this far just to come this far. Yeah, that's not on the internet. I don't know. I don't know. We, we going, man. I... Yeah, these are some super subliminals, bro. This shit is under the ground. <laughs> yeah, he incorporated the vo- the vocals from Chris and Kim perfectly. It, it like almost kept the musical still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. It wasn't jarring when it came on. Take me out the trap. Take me off the mark. Take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat. Tell them it's a come and rescue. Take me out the club. Take me out the trap. Take me off the mark. How you gonna sing disrespect? I'm trying to hit the group chat. just an interesting song that's the only word I could use to describe it because it wasn't good it wasn't bad it was just interesting eater eater what eater that shit was ass that shit was ass you can't say it's ass and you move your body it might be ass for Drake but you know what you know this this is what I really want to get to I enjoyed it you know why I enjoyed it because this is this is charged up this is letting me know something's on, uh, on the horizon Oh, yes, it is. It's letting me know. Drake said, Yo, I'm done with all that foo foo, dance club shit, all this other. Like. You put out her loss. Huh? You put out her loss. You've been letting us know. That was a collab tape with fucking 21. This is that like, was a Drake album that has some 21 features. Keep it a bean. 
Let me let me get my narrative off. My bad. I think Drake is letting niggas know with the knife and the shots that it's back to real rapping shit. It's back to blood sports. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. How do you know he put out that image of the knife? You know niggas got AI. They could have just put... This isn't his channel. That's what I'm saying. They, niggas could have just typed in knife with a owl fucking hilt. <laughs> and that would have generated that. They put that as the cover. Like, I don't even know if that's his knife. Yo, put that shit in the fucking search bar. <laughs> Wait, but what? Is Yo, bar? put that shit because I think he dropped it on OVO Radio. Niggas just ripped it. So put that shit in the search bar, bro. No, it wasn't on, on OVO Radio. It was on Sirius XM. Oh, okay, Sound Forty Two. Yeah, uh, whatever that shit's called, bro. Like, let me see. I don't know what's going on. I'm working on dying. Ah, uh, just fuck me then. All right, they got it. Um, you want to in the search bar? I just want to see the, the, the cover photo that most people are using. I don't know why he chose that. Like the song. Trigger yeah, song. yeah. I don't know why he chose that. Because that's a lot of my theory. The knife. Bro, they just type, they just put that shit in and on, uh, you know what I mean? Whatever. It's cool. Um, Hey, man. I, I Even without that, I feel like the, the music is, is telling me that, like... It's coming. For, it's a blood sport, bro. Scary hours three. I think is dropping. I think it's blood sports. The nigga was talking about he wants a girlfriend, so he can stop being a hoe. That's what the whole song was about. But he's taking shots at Kanye. A little shoddy shot. He be taking a little shoddy shots. I don't know. I thought that this was just a little, little something he put out. A little controversy. A little shoddy shot at, at Kanye. I'll get niggas talking. Get a grand wizard chat. Nigga post. Other than that, she was mad. All right, so then uh, we rate it. 5.5? It was cool. cool. When? Is it time? For what? Is it time? Don't you dare. He's not ready. Don't you dare, bro. Keep that shit in your fucking brain. GG's. Anyway, if we miss anything with the the diss to Kanye, I seen that Grand was supposed to. You know, I don't know. It was a calm, it was a calm shot. You know, just to spark it, just to spark it. Um, anyway, up it, just you know yeah, I mean? yeah, up it, you just. Well, you know, you saw what uh, Roddy Rebel said. What was that? He said what uh, nigga should have done to King Von. What? Should you should got flashed? He said, "Yo, yo, back up my man real quick." <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did? Hey, yo, that boy was like, these niggas stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is shit like that, yo. <laughs> that shit made me laugh. <laughs> yo, pick up my man real quick. <laughs> shit, you should have just flashed it. Why he had to kill King Von? <laughs> that shit made me laugh. Yeah, come on, man. That's yo, funny, that's funny. Man. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so, let, yeah, let us know. Uh, wait, what was that accent? Uh, if there's anything we missed with the little yeah, shot, yeah, yeah. let us know if we missed anything. You know, maybe Craig really did up it, up the pole. Um, so don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.